So we're going to show you what it looks like to use the 9450 app and the sensor ball when using ShotArc. So we're going to go through a couple of situations here where you can see how to set it up, how quickly you can use your app to get it started, and some choices you got to make on the court to get the right data so you can get that feel for the perfect shot. So first of all, we connect our ball to the app. We dribble it a few times. It's connected. We pick the right distance. Today we're going to shoot at 20 feet. And it's important you pick from the distance that you want to shoot from. That's going to give you the right data. And always make sure you have the player's height in the app. You got those two things set. You can shoot anywhere on the court. It doesn't matter where you shoot. You can shoot off the move, or you can do more of a stand-up, spot-up type of situation. Today, it's just going to be spot-up. So here we go. We're using a two-man passing situation, which is great for really learning. The player can just focus on shooting. This can be done with parents to their kids, player to player, coach to player. If you want to shoot on your own, you can do that too. You just put the phone in your pocket, put your earbuds in, it'll all work. In this case, I'm going to put the phone in my pocket. I'm going to give the, the shooter some feedback on how to make adjustments to get that perfect arc, what it feels like. So here's the pass. They're ready to shoot. He gets a shot. 38 degrees. Now the ball went in. Streaky shooters can still make it, but he's going to be streaky. 38 degrees is a little flat. I want you to get your knees bent jump to the rim, see if you can get that arc up a little bit. There's the pass, 43. You can see just a couple of adjustments. So that player learned just a couple of things that they could do. The results are dramatically different. Increased his shot arc by five degrees with one simple instruction. Now you want to make him repeat it. Do the exact same thing, learn that technique so that you can do it in a game situation. See if he can repeat it. 41, it's come down a little bit. It's come down a little bit. So now you want to get that player, it's like do it, repeat it two or three times, one more time. Get the knees bent, butt back, jump to the rim on your shot, release it high. 43, that's good. That's what you're looking for when you're using the shot arc function in the skill training part of the app is to let the player feel what it's like to shoot the perfect shot every time and the results you're going to get with your players, with your kids, with your teammates is just amazingly fast. And then repeat the heck out of it so you can do it in a game.